It's Jan's job to convince the motorway police that a swan can be easily handled, but the officers aren't so sure. She got me still in eggs. They can't believe the swans are all as calm as these. But you haven't got 12 or 13 stone of motorway policemen running after you trying to catch you. Close encounters of the bird kind. What I'm going to do is just go and pick one up, just so that you can see what it feels like. And the worst thing that's likely to happen is that I would get scratched if I hadn't got my arms covered, and that's just from feet. The other bit is wings need to be kept securely down for the swan's safety and so that it doesn't make it difficult for you. The beak end really does nothing other than use very bad language. made that look very easy. <laughs> and he's not very fit. <laughs> the main thing is that you lose this fear of, of swans being this big fierce thing that's going to break your arm if you go near it. Which that, That's the tale that's you always hear though, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, I've but not ever had a broken arm, so let's put it that way. OK, who's going to be first? in another way. They need to be free and they need to be allowed to live the life that nature intended them to live and they do the same things now that they've always done but I'm afraid we've just messed it up for them. Another satisfied customer. As the swan waddles back to its English country garden, a family relaxes in theirs. Much of the Midlands motorway network speeds drivers through beautiful rural landscape. Many little pieces of paradise were created long before the first tarmac was laid. This always was a room with a view. Now that view is a little different. Motorways no problem to us at all. It's private. Uh, the noise doesn't bother us. Well, the family moved into this house in September 1937, just 60 years ago. The house was bought by our family in that year because of its beautiful rural views and very quiet location, as you can see from this photograph, 1928. And now we've gone from that peace and quiet to that roaring motorway. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This was more ideal than living on a, a main high street where there's traffic actually on your doorstep. My children can play out the front, they can step into the road and they're safe, there is no traffic at all. Friends are coming to visit us, they ask us what the motorway is like, you know, maybe going up north or coming down, and uh, we just look out the window and tell them, you know, what the traffic's like, if it's free or if it's busy. When you, anybody's young, you don't tend to notice noise, cold and other discomforts and drafts that you do as you get older. And when you, uh, as you're approaching 60, you realise that a bit of peace and quiet is all you want in life. There's no peace for drivers who flout the law. Not while the video car's on the road. Still, still doing the you can same see his left shoulder's high. Whether we can get up the inside of him and... Uh, that's very cool. Just can you see from this, this angle there? Yep. Still there? Yep. Oh, I think 
few one of uh, words with him when we get around the corner. Nice safe location. 97 one-handed down there is quite uh, not really acceptable. Your average speed was 97.86 miles an hour. You're a professional driver, you probably do a lot of miles. I do, yeah. And it doesn't portray a very good image when you're driving at those sort of speeds with only one hand on the wheel yeah. and your other arm dragged across the passenger seat. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So if you suddenly had a blowout or somebody did something where you had to react, yeah. you've it only got one dangerous. hand. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you seem to be a yeah. gentleman I, who appreciates what's, what's been said. I, I do appreciate what you're saying, yeah. The offences on your licence are just purely for speeding. Right, yeah. So I think really you've got to pay a lot of attention to the speedometer on your vehicle. Yeah. You know, perhaps allow yourself a little bit more time That's for your thing. journeys and so you're not sort of rushing here, there and everywhere. Right. And just slow yourself down a yeah. little bit. Yeah. So I'm, I'm likely to get some more points on yeah, my Yeah, if you just get the I... minimum, which is three points, right. that will put you up to nine. One more fixed penalty and that's will put it. 12 yeah. and then you will get an automatic disqualification due to tossing up. Right. Okay? Yeah. Fairly happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I'm not absolutely delighted about it. Three fixed penalties, one expired, two current. Both are speeding in 30s. If he gets points for this one, at least they're going to be consecutive, 95, 96 and 97. That's true.